Hey friends, I'm Anika Larson, aka Green Mom AF, and this is the Broadway vlog to save the planet where I want to help you go from feeling helpless and hopeless to helpful and hopeful, which is what the UN Global Goals for Sustainability did for me. Today we are talking about global goal number eight, decent work and economic growth. Sing it, Gregory. Decent work and economic growth. Here to talk about it with us is theatrical producer and general manager, Maria Didia. Hi, Maria. Hi, Nika. Hey, Maria. What haven't you done in this business? Okay, let's talk about it. You performed on Broadway in Look to the Lilies. You were dance captain on that show. Shout out to all the dance captains. You were stage manager on Co O Calcutta, a producer on the Broadway musical, A Broadway Musical. Uh, you were the theater operator for Love Letters. You were general manager of Me and Bessie, a real American hero, Blood Knot, A Little Like Magic, Chicago, Paul McKenna's Hypnotic World, and Aznavour. And I met you 20 years ago when you were general manager of a magical little off-Broadway show I was in called Xana Don't. Guilty. And you also take time to give back. You're an advisor to Revolution Latina, which we highlight in our episode about global goal number four, quality education. You are part of Seth Rudetsky and James Wesley's team at Stars in the House, featured in our episode about goal number 17, partnerships for the goals, which raises money for the Entertainment Community Fund, which we highlight in our episode about goal three, good health and well-being. And you are a founding member of Broadway Cares, Equity Fights AIDS, which we highlight in our episode about goal 16, peace, justice, and strong institutions. You are are truly a pillar of the biz, Maria. It's an honor to be in the business. Okay, so global goal number eight. Decent work and economic growth. Hey Maria, what exactly is the goal of this goal? It's to promote sustained, inclusive and sustainable economic growth, full and productive employment, and decent work for all. Sing it, Gregory. Promote sustained, inclusive and sustainable economic growth. Full and productive employment and decent work for all. What this goal is saying is that economic growth should be a positive force for the whole planet. This is why we must make sure that financial progress creates decent and fulfilling jobs while not harming the environment. We must protect labor rights and once and for all put a stop to modern slavery and child labor. If we promote job creation, with expanded access to banking and financial services, we can make sure that everyone gets the benefits of entrepreneurship and innovation. Yes, and here in our corner of the world, you represent both facets of this goal. You are a member of Actors' Equity Association, which is the Actors and Stage Managers Union. Full disclosure, I've been a proud member for 26 years. And there are also unions for the designers and stage crew and directors and choreographers. And am I missing anybody? Are there other unions? Yes, there are actually 14 unions. Whoa! And you served on the Board of Governors of the Broadway League. Will you please tell folks what that is? The Broadway League is a national trade association for the Broadway theater industry. Theater owners, operators, producers, presenters, general managers of North American cities, as well as suppliers of goods and services to the commercial theater industry. That's right. So often the unions in the Broadway League face off across a negotiating table. But at the end of the day, we are all both critical parts of our, e our theater ecosystem. And we're all working towards the same goal, which is, of course, success and prosperity for us all. And of course, the creation of art, like I discussed with Telly Leung in the episode about Goal 11, Sustainable Cities and Communities, everyone needs to be culturally inspired to fully prosper. So I want to ask you, as a former member of Actors' Equity, which works to achieve the decent work side of this goal, what are some of the things that equity fights for for its members? Good wages, health insurance, safe working conditions, clean drinking water, and bathrooms backstage are some of the issues that equity works towards achieving for its membership. Absolutely. And having produced and been a general manager for so many shows, that means that you know the finances of Broadway inside and out. So can you tell people um, about the importance of Broadway as an industry in terms of the economic growth of New York City? Broadway employs about almost 100,000 people. Wow. In the theaters and then also in office buildings nearby. Ancillary businesses and industries that are supported by Broadway, just go to Times Square, take a yeah. look around mm -hmm. and see what's there. Uh, hotels, restaurants, just the various entities that attract people to Broadway. Yeah. The naked, the naked cowboy. The, the, <laughs> <laughs> the naked cowboy would the be nothing cowboy. without Broadway. <laughs> he, would, he would have no business. But he it's would true. Be closed. He would. He would. But, he would. But, 
you'd be clothed and closed. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah, no, it's it's the it's, and all of those suffered during COVID when we had to literally shut down. Bars had to shut down, and then you know there's the dry cleaners who dried just Broadway clothes who didn't have any work throughout that time. It really is. It's about a two billion dollar a year industry for New York City. All right, Maria. So then, if we globally, if we widen the lens out of our little Broadway community, some of the targets of Goal Eight are the targets to sustain economic growth in particular in the least developed countries. Achieve higher levels of economic productivity through diversification, technological upgrading, and innovation. Achieve full and productive employment and decent work for everyone, including for people with disabilities, and equal pay for work of equal value. Promote youth employment, education, and training. That's also goal number four, quality education. And modern slavery, human trafficking, and child labor. Protect labor rights and promote safe and secure working environments for all workers, including migrant workers, in particular women migrants. That's also goal 10, reduced inequalities, and goal number one, no poverty. And increase access to banking, insurance, and financial services for all. Yes. Okay. These are big targets, Maria, and people out there might be wondering what they can do to help. What can I do? Our problems can seem so massive and the solutions so out of our control that it's overwhelming, but there is always something that you can do, something that's manageable for you in your life. If we just keep trying to do the next right thing, do the next right thing, together we can achieve these goals. Yes, we can. Of course, you can always find a Goal 8 charity and make a donation, big or small. CharityWatch.org is a great place to find organizations doing amazing work in this area. Organize or volunteer for a mentoring program. Help folks in your community with financial literacy or career networking to achieve financial security. Be a conscious consumer. If something is cheap, it is most likely hurting people or the planet in some way. Support local economic growth by buying from local producers and businesses. Know and stand up for your rights at work. That goes a long way towards accessing justice for you and for others. And hey, come see a Broadway play or a musical. Yeah. Particularly in the slow season, like January or February, post holiday gift for yourself that you can share. Absolutely. And always stay informed and vote. Vote. Vote! All righty, Maria. As always, we end the Broadway vlog to save the planet with the lightning round. The lightning round! Let's start the clock now. Which rich character in a musical would be most likely to give away all their money if they really understood the devastating effects of income inequality? Daddy Warbucks from Annie, the King of Siam from The King and I, Ava Perone from Evita, Benny from Rent, Captain Von Trapp from The Sound of Music. Daddy Warbucks. What's the most important thing for you to do to regenerate? The thing you need most to take care of yourself physically or mentally? Jazzercise every day. What activist or leader would you most want as your high school theater teacher? Maya Angelou. If we could generate the power to light Broadway shows through human exertion, would you rather do it by tap dancing, blowing a trombone, or bench pressing ushers? Tap dancing. What is the worst survival job you ever had? I sold underwear door to door. Enough said. What is the greatest theater city in the world? New York City. So nice, we named it twice. Since a revival of a show is basically reusing, recycling, repurposing it, so it's super good for the planet, what show would you want to recycle to produce? West Side Store. Who's greener, Elphaba or Greta Thunberg? Greta Thunberg. Which of these invasive species in New York City would you most want to lose in a mixed martial arts battle? Rats, cockroaches, or red-spotted lanternflies? Red-spotted lanternflies. Who's been one of your favorite people to work with in this business? Cheetah Rivera. Ding! 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 Thank you, Maria, and thank you for watching. My friends, if you are ever feeling down or scared about it all, please know that the climate revolution is a groundswell of people working towards shared prosperity on a healthy planet with more and more people every day out there innovating, problem solving, making good trouble, all in the ways that make sense for them, and you can too. Arthur Ashe said, start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. Let's all just do the next right thing, and together we will make a greener and fairer and more prosperous world.